Have you ever felt bad about yourself? In this video, I'm going to be talking about the critical inner voice and how understanding it better could make a major improvement to your mental health. Hi everyone, my name's Fern Lullum, I'm a motivational speaker and on this channel I give you practical strategies and tips to help you improve your mental and emotional health in any situation. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Today I'm going to be talking about the critical inner voice, how you can start to become more aware of it, how powerful it can be in your everyday life, and how to start overcoming it and challenging what it's telling you. The critical inner voice is the term used to describe the voice we hear inside our heads. Well, we don't actually hear it as a voice. Instead, it manifests itself as thoughts, nagging thoughts, which can dictate our behaviour and the way we interact with other people. The critical inner voice can be our worst enemy and can affect all aspects of our lives. It can attack our self-esteem and confidence, it can ruin relationships, family, friends and romantic, and it can inhibit our ability to perform well at work or in school. These negative thoughts can undermine our positive feelings and encourage feelings of self-criticism and self-denial. Sound familiar? Do you ever tell yourself thoughts like this? I'm not good enough, I'm not as attractive as her, I'll never get what I want in life, or I'll never be happy. We all have a critical inner voice, but some people are affected much more than others by those hurtful and destructive thoughts. It is believed that these negative thoughts come from early life experiences which have been internalised. When we are young, we can easily pick up on the negative attitudes of our parents, carers, siblings and peers. But the critical inner voice is not the same thing as a conscience, and sometimes it's very easy to confuse the two. While the conscience is there to help you do the right thing, the critical inner voice cannot be trusted as a moral guide. Quite the opposite. The critical inner voice will actually guide us to do things which hurt other people, or most often, ourselves. It only increases our self-hatred and is self-perpetuating. It never helps us to change our behaviour to improve our emotional health, but instead sends us spiralling down to ever more destructive thoughts. If you want to break free from your critical inner voice, you need to start to become aware of when it is starting to speak up. You need to identify the thoughts that make up your critical inner voice and actively make a decision not to listen to them. So the next time you hear your critical inner voice trying to tell you something negative about yourself, take control over it and take action against what it is trying to tell you to do. The truth is, we don't need to be victims to our moods. Understand your critical inner voice and the negative thoughts it's starting to instill into your life and reject them. Reject any thoughts that diminish your self-esteem. Reject any thoughts that are self-destructive. Reject any thoughts that turn us against other people. Silence that critical inner voice. As you learn to identify the thoughts put into your head by the critical inner voice, so you can start to free yourself from them, by turning away from them and acting only in your self-interest and in a positive way towards others. You can achieve peace within yourself and a happy a way of life simply by banishing that critical inner voice. So there you have it, that's how powerful your critical inner voice can be and the massive impact it can have on your life. If you're interested in learning more about the critical inner voice, I'm going to be doing a video coming up soon about more detailed ways of starting to overcome your critical inner voice and stop listening to it so that you can have that happier life that we're all looking for. Give this video a thumbs up if you've had experience with the critical inner voice and let me know in the comments below what it's telling you. What areas do you struggle with with your critical inner voice and what are the thoughts that it's putting into your mind Mind, and how is it making you behave towards yourself and towards other people? I'd love to join in the discussion and find out more. As always, if you want to learn more about how to improve your emotional or mental health, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss a thing. Thanks for watching and enjoy your day as though you were the shiniest shell on a beautiful tropical beach. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye! 
my name's Fern Lullum, and I'm, I'm over there. The critical inner voice is a term describe. What is it? Understand your own critical inner voice and the negative thoughts that's it. <laughs> and the negative thoughts it's instilling into your life and don't forget to as though you were the shiniest shell on a beautiful tropical <laughs>